measuring down the face of the piston. Yeah, but you know, you're, I want you to explain what you just explained to me about you know, how it rocks and it hits back and forth and, and all this stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm measuring down the face of the piston to measure. what the shape of it is. Is you right on the workbench? <laughs> Wipes off easy. So a piston is supposed to be shaped tapered. Smaller to larger. Uh -huh. These two points opposite each other are the two largest points on the piston when it's cold. As it heats up and this area expands, it comes in about equal where this is the largest area of the piston, and that's what rubs on the cylinder wall. When it loses either lubrication and starts to scrub, or detonation, where detonation is hitting one side of the piston, that's rocking it over and slamming this against the cylinder wall, it'll break that oil barrier, and that's when you start getting some of that scoring that we sometimes see. So what we're looking at is you have a wear pattern here, Kind of glare, but it yeah, it's kind of hard to see. There's a wear pattern here, and there's a little bit of wear here. But once the piston has worn to where this skirt is either straight or smaller here than up here, then the piston's pretty much considered worn out. And you'll get one or two pistons per batch that are worn a lot more than the others. See, I don't have fancy tools like this. And just a micrometer. Eight. Seven. See, this way I won't have to bring him in and have you say the same thing over and over and over again. For some reason, this piston has a little bit more wear to it than that one, even though you can't see it. The skirt is moving a little bit more. There's over a thousandths difference. Now, when we looked at them, at all the pistons, there were some of them that had more, they had crushed in more here. Okay. So it's, it's the amount of wear there. Okay, I believe you. This one was the eight. And these, these two alone have over a thousand variance between them. I remember you had done, done similar type stuff to my 400. Finding something for 86. Hmm. But that's basically what we're looking at is how much they call skirt wear there is. Skirt wear. I, I told them that there's a, a specific term you used, but I don't remember it. Yep. Skirt wear on the piston. And what other kind? You have this neat and wonderful. What is this machine here? That's the Rottler. It's a milling machine. That's the milling machine. And I remember that you plug in all the stuff here in the yep, computer. It and does decking, boring, and that one over there does the homing. Geez, this is this all the only thing this does is honing. Yep, so you can see these cylinders are honed almost f to final size. You have to touch it in the morning. You let everything cool off just before you do the last hone. Wow. 
and that happens to be a torque plate on it, which we don't have for an SHO block. But do it without. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop this because I don't know how much memory this thing.